Hey, hey, Jessica Dover here. Uh, I took a poll today on Facebook asking what videos you wanted to see. Um, I got told everything and I got told pigments. So we'll start with pigments. Um, I do have everything on one lit, one eye done, one not with. Um, the 3D Fiber Lashes Lips is the Posh Eyeliner. I just used it and now I lost it. Here we go. Posh Eyeliner with the Splurge Cream and Dainty over it. Real light over it with my finger. Awesome. It lasts all day. Fantastic. Um, the colors I am going to use today while I I'm um, also going to show you the pigments with rose water. That's how I personally wear them. Normally, I um, every day if I'm running late, I won't. They still work great without the rose water. You can also do them with um, the primer. All work awesome. I just love the rose water. It smells great. It's great. Um, I, you can see how much I've used. Not very much. I've had it for over a month. And like I said, normally I use it um, with my pigments. You can use it for sunburn, which is great. Summertime's coming. Um, just get sunburn. Spray this on there instead of putting a lotion. It will be more of a tan versus, you know, losing it. So let's see if we can... Um, I do the two lids at once. Normally I'm not holding it in the air. I have it on a table. But I'm trying to show you... Rose water first before the shadows. It is a powder. <laughs> Did do that. Powder, then spray. No more powder left in the lid. For the most part, it all got out. So, um, I typically do two at a time because you don't need much. I missed, so I had to put a little more in. So you can see there's not much in there. And then... This is what we're going to use for our liner. It is corrupted. Just put a little, this is way too much, honestly, way too much. But you just put it in there and then we'll mix it together. I'll show you that step in a minute. Um, this one is confident I am on the porch. You can probably hear that loud truck. Sorry about that. That's just sitting on my porch, my life. <laughs> But it's the best light, and it is like 7 o'clock at night, so I don't think I'll have any lighting in my house where you'll actually be able to see the colors. Um, so here you go. This is the Confident. You can see right there. Just mix it. It becomes more of a paste. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Not really. You really can't see. But it becomes a paste. Sorry. Cameras really don't do it justice. Have a home party with me and then you'll be able to show everybody. Um, yeah. Can't do it in the camera either. Sorry guys. Uh, you start in the middle of your lid. And go. Oh, I wanted to show you the pigment dry. Because I'll have to make another video, show you with a different color. I wanted to show you the difference of the wet and the dry. But, I forgot. It's already mixed. Next time. Tune in for the next video. <laughs> uh, so this may look a little harsh. Main thing to remember about eyes. Shading is key when you use more than one color. Uh, I probably should just do one eye at a time. This video is going to be kind of long. Hope you guys want to hang out with me. It's already almost four minutes, so. All right. Okay. I have this awesome, handy dandy, unique brush holder. I have the whole set. Even comes with the lid, snaps right on. Perfect. Brushes are awesome. All goes right in my wonderful, unique bag. Perfect. But that's me wasting time because I can't find something. Sorry. Okay, this is gorgeous. Here's the color. I do this in my crease. 
Um, this one I put on dry. It's just me. Like I said, I'm not a makeup professional. This is just how I prefer to do it. You may have a different way. That's fine. That's the awesome thing about makeup. You can do a million looks with the same product. And still all look beautiful. We all have different faces. We all like to look a little different. It's part of life. It would be boring if we were all the same. Okay. So like I said, just put that in the crease. And then you take your liner shader brush. Liner shader brush. Awesome. Got your shader side your liner side I will show you both of them in action so here we go we just buff it out blend it all if you don't like it too dark keep on buffing it sorry I'm blocking your view how nice of me okay spread my lashes back out normally I do my lashes after I'm gonna show you on this side Alright, so as you remember, I put way too much on here, so there's going to be tons left. But it's okay, because they'll just stay in the lid. So here it is on my brush. I guess you're not supposed to pull your lid out when you do this, but I don't know. That's the technical term. I'm not technical. it on the bottom so you guys need to comment down below and let me know what other videos you would like to see um, this is typically my everyday eye look uh, sometimes I'll do another video where I go more colorful I like to be colorful. If you've ever met me in person, you know I'm very colorful. Um, so let's see. I think that is it. We gotta get our comb. That's one thing about doing your lashes first. They don't ever stay. Oh, this look is not done. Just kidding. Not over. I have to show you this splurge cream and how awesome it is and how like nothing you use nothing I dab it in the lid and just put it on great highlighter you can put it on your whole lid I wear it like that sometimes put it on my whole lid and do um Just a little bit of pigment over it. Sorry, I forgot what I was saying there. Can you see? Can you see the glitter? Awesome glitter. I love the glitter. Okay. Sorry, this video is going to be like 10 minutes long. Well, I'll hurry it up. Shut up talking. Okay, so you see. This is corrupted. Corrupted on the lid. Gorgeous in the crease. Confident. No. I'm wrong. Confident on the lid. Gorgeous on the crease. Corrupted is the liner. Um, I have perfect on my waterline. I just, I don't know, had that on already. Lost my lashes. I'm just not really with it today. <laughs> it's okay though. Okay, so this is already 3D fiber lashed. This, sadly, is not. So you see the difference? You can just clearly see. Not so happy. Happy. Happy eye. And everyone has their bad eye, right? This is my bad eye. It never, never wants to work. So we just put the lashes on the bottom. Uh, also a fun fact I've learned since I've been selling Unique. I guess you're supposed to do your bottom, all bottom eye makeup first. Didn't know that. But that's what they say. 
Okay. All over. Real quick with the fibers. Front and back. Wait, do, 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 do. Oh, get the fibers off your face. And then seal. And the only reason I wait the little bit of time is just to let the fibers seal or, you know, sit on my lash a little. Give it a second to dry some. Otherwise, I feel like I get a fibers on my wand and then it is getting in my tube and I just feel like I'm drying it out faster than I need to. So I like to wait. You don't have to. I'm just going to put another little coat of gel because from doing our pigments after our mascara it kind of got a little messed up. So we'll just freshen it up some. There we go. That's my eye pigment tutorial. I don't know if it's good. Tell me what you think. Alright, have a good